Hello everyone, welcome to today's episode showcase on Dark Souls 3. Now, boss weapons. I'm not a big fan of them. Oh god, the hate. It's so heavy. The hate. <laughs> I don't think anyone really cares that much, do they? Yeah, probably not, but most boss weapons are huge and clunky. Well, there are exceptions to this, but most of them are huge and clunky. And I don't really appeal to me. Nonetheless, I'll still do the video regardless. Because that's what I do. It's for the catalog. Today's weapon, the Demon's Great Axe. Yes, the Demon's Great Axe. What a large weapon it is. Very large. Looks very weird. But that's a boss weapon for you. The description of this weapon reads, This Great Axe is favored among demons, containing the strength of fire. What is the strength of fire? Can it be measured? How many jewels is it put out? <laughs> the demons born of chaos harbor fire, and yet they are twisted and malformed. Such they are never meant to be. That's pretty rude. That's pretty That's pretty rude indeed. Anyhow, this skill is the demonic flare. Briefly cause a flame within flare and smash upon the earth and foes. Alright. Pretty neat, I guess. Not that it really says much, but whatever. The weapon visually looks like it's been pulled out of the earth like it was a tree once. Maybe? I don't know, there's a lot of roots at the bottom of this uh, handle. And it seems like a lot of old magma rock obsidian? I don't know. Clearly it looks like a, something born in nature and not something created by man or demon. Which is weird, but whatever. Going on to the stats for the demon's great axe, physically, well, we got plenty of physical damage. And then some. Not only the good 160 physical with nearly 90 bonus, I also got fire damage, which is 88 of that and 29 bonus. Awesome, very awesome. And we can see the issue of bonus, you got full lineup. Strength gets a C, Dexterity gets an E, Intelligence and Faith get a D. Which my Faith and Intelligence are both at 35. So that's a fairly good number there. The Trevor Requirements is a little strange, but you need 20 Strength, which is a lot, not to be no surprise there, but you need 0 Dexterity. Strange you didn't put a bonus for it, but require you have 0. Weird, but whatever. And Faith and Intelligence is 12. Which, surprisingly, a lot of characters could do both. Most people just go with, you know, one or the other. Not usually both, so it's a bit of a tedious thing. Anyhow, going up to the special move, Demonic Flare takes 35 FP, and that is pricey. But, oh well. And the way the weapon is 14.5, which is heavy, but not the heaviest weapon out there. It's not, there have been, there certainly is a lot more heavier things out there. But all, overall, pretty damn good by the looks of it. Going on the animation of the Demon's Fire Axe. Great Axe it is. Basic attack is very heavy chop. It's all from the Great Axe moveset. Very heavy chop for the head power attack. Two-handed basic attack is a very rapid chop. Are you seeing a pattern here? <laughs> Going down to the woods and chopping the wood. But yeah, it's all just chopping motion. Some are faster than others, some are more powerful than others. The rolling attack, however, a light rolling attack is a very, very rapid, very smooth chop. The two-handed power attack version is the same thing, just slower. And left hand offers no new animations whatsoever. Well, well. Never weapon can be special. And now we're onto the special, which is very, very flashy. Hmm, good explosions. Cool guys don't look at explosions, but I guess we can't choose this one. <laughs> and quick chop for the sprint attack. Upgrading this weapon is a boss weapon, so it needs Tate Knight's scale to be upgraded. So only five levels, and you're gonna get a lot of damage all those five levels. Damn, you got a lot of damage alone. Trigger bonus seems to be remaining the same thus far, but it doesn't really matter too much. This weapon's incredibly powerful. And on the final level, we can see there that the strength bonus go to a B when, when the final upgrade is achieved for the Tate Knight slab. But you still got plenty of damage otherwise from this weapon. However, Thanks to this weapon's Tate Knight scale reinforcement, it cannot be infused with any gems, which is unfortunate. So, how does one perform? Well, I expect high performance. That's a lot of damage I'm putting in this thing, and it's not even that slow. It is slow, but it isn't that slow. Although, me trying to get a backstab. Oh, oh there we go. Didn't think I'd get it so soon. 
But you can see a lot of damage there. Coming close to 800. That's a lot. Wow. And pretty much just dropping some enemies is enough to kill them. Using his axe is a bit overkill. <laughs> Use some explosions. Boom. Not that powerful, but uh, did good. Killed them. Test against other enemies later. Next question, can you go through shield? My guess is very likely. As a guy would use a shield, but then again, he probably thinks it's hopeless. Yeah, it's pretty hopeless. Broke through, but also killed him. Don't need to show anymore. But can I go through a Gorgal shield? Special attack did great damage. Now can I go through his shield, though? Hmm, that's a power attack right there, so... Let's get another chance. Let's try the special. The special got through. Nice. There you go. You can go through any shield, then. Now against the Black Knight, however. I think I'll just... Sucker punch him. They didn't turn out so great. Fortunately, didn't really stagger. Oh, damn. Oh, that hurt him a lot. Wow. I guess that guy took the full blunt of that attack. Hmm. But anyhow, moving on to the pros and cons of the Demon's Great Axe on the pro. It's incredibly powerful. It's got that fire damage added. You can also go through any shield. And I think that's pretty much it for the pros. Yeah. Cons, however, is a bit, a little bit slow. Not the slowest, but a little bit. It cannot be infused with any gems. And it's a little bit on the heavy side. A bit heavy. Yeah. Alright. So going on the score for the Demon's Great Axe. I give damage an 8 out of 10. That was plenty of damage. That special is more powerful than I thought. But then again, it only worked against one enemy and crossed three uses. It only happened once. Reach? Well, 7 out of 10. A good reach. Animation? 5 out of 10. That's a unique special only to this weapon. So at least give it a 5. Bonus? 9 out of 10. That fire is just a little bit better, I would give it a 10 out of 10, but it does plenty good by itself as it is. Misc? Eh, give it a 6 out of 10. This weapon is truly different looking. There's no other weapon quite visually like it. And the fact that you have that fire damage on there, which had its own bonus, it's pretty damn good. So in total, I think the Demonic or Demon's Great Axe gets 35 out of 50, which is exceptional. It's quite a good weapon. Still, I'm not a big fan of the big weapons, but this one's plenty good. I can easily recognize that. Alright, so if all the big weapons is the best, no. Is it the worst? I don't think so. That's a hard question to answer. I think they're all pretty good. But yes, in terms of using giant weapons, clearly you can take down anything in front of you, bosses included, even other players. Is it really the best weapon? Well, that's entirely up to the user. Not for me, though. But hey, that's my opinion. What's yours? Let me know. But that's the showcase for today. Like, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care out there.